Morning, y'all. As you can tell, it's pretty early in the morning. It's 7.20 in the morning. Um, you know, I thought I'd come on here and make a video that could turn into something controversial because, you know, we always have this topic like, who is the best player from each team? Um, I'm going to do that. This is my 2020 edition of the best player from each team. Now, we will definitely be doing this for underrated. We'll, do, we'll be doing this for overrated. We'll probably be doing it for best prospect. You know, we're going to do a lot of series around, like, the best players from each team and all that good stuff. First off, if you disagree with any of these guys, I'm sorry. Um, You're coming from a half-decent based hockey fan. And, you know, I think that I do make some dumb decisions. I do make some... I do have some unpopular opinions. And a lot of them, especially the one that I have with the Arizona Coyotes. Oh, they, uh, yeah. This is going to be uh, a bit interesting. Now, this is the best player from each team this season. Not uh, not like, oh, best player right, best player all time, best player right now. No, best player from this season. Okay, so I thought I'd clear that up out of the way. This bet has been annoying me every single day. And first off, let me just say, again, I apologize for if you are offended with any of this. You know, there is some unpopular opinions within these, and I think that, you know, I didn't solely base it off the points, but I did look at the players' points and stuff. So, there you go. Um, Anaheim. When it comes to Anaheim, Anaheim's a tough team. Uh, Anaheim was not the best was not the best team this season. Um, so I put ha Adam Henrique. And I think that, you know, he led the team in points. That's not that huge of a question. He came from New Jersey. And, you know, he's just been a great, he's just been a great offensive player since he came from... The Devils, and, you know, he has a history with the Devils, so there you go. Um, Arizona. Arizona, who was the best player this season with the Arizona Coyotes? Connor Garland. Um, there was real, I mean, you could argue a few other guys, Kristen Fisher, Dvorak. I said Connor Garland. Uh, I thought Garland played great this season. I think, I think he deserves a huge, a huge boost, and I think that, you know, if he can do what he did this season but better... Coyotes can have a legitimate shot, but, you know, I know a lot of people are going to disagree with Garland being the best player on the Coyotes. Uh, Boston. I have David Poshnok. Poshnok, no question, is probably the best player on the Bruins. He'll probably be the best player on the Bruins for years to come. He's the, he was the best player on the Bruins last season as well. And, you know, um, with him, he can put up the points. He can help out that line between um Marchand and um Bergeron. And I think that, you know, you put he's that great offensive player, and I think Boston's really gonna miss him next season. Again, uh, Boston is dealing with problems, so you know. Uh, Buffalo, Buffalo. It's really no question who's who's the best player this season. It's Jack Eichel. Um, it, it's been the be they've been he, he's been their best player since he came to the Sabers. To be honest, um, you know with this disappointing Buffalo team, I think they're making some somewhat right moves, but um, you know there is some questionable moves that I am seeing. Uh, here and there from Buffalo, but I think that, you know, Jack Eichel will stay Buffalo's best player for a long time. Uh, Calgary. Calgary, I would put Matthew Kachuk. Kachuk, he had his moments during this season where he, um, he showed his fight, he showed his, um, his immaturity, I guess you could say, but, you know, take it what you will. And, you know, with him, he's, he's a fighter, and I think that, you know, not a lot of people are a big fan of that, but is what it is. Uh, Carolina, I have Sebastian Ajo. Um, you could argue Andrei Svechnikov, you could argue someone else, but I think Ajo is the best player on this Hurricanes team. Uh, Chicago, I have Patrick Kane there. Um, Kane, despite getting older and older every single season, is showing really no signs of stopping. So, although, although the Blackhawks are going through some times right now, and I think that, you know, there is rumors of Patrick Kane leaving the Panthers, um... I would say that um, Panthers leaving the leaving the Blackhawks. I would say that it's likely not going to happen. Uh, Patrick Kane's cap is way too high for them to just move him, uh, and I'm sure they're going to want something back for him. There are guys who would go after Patrick Kane, but the cap is, but the cap is what's scaring a few, scaring a lot of them away. Uh, Colorado, I have Nathan McKinnon. Uh, there's no question. Um, I think that maybe in a few years, Kale McCarr could. You you could put Kale McCarr as that best player. Um, even Bowen Byram if he pans out the way the way Colorado wants to be. But you know McKinnon he 
broke the he broke the franchise record for Avalanche by most points by the mo- by the longest point streak or the most points in the playoffs. Sorry, and you know this guy can put up points. He's a great sportsman league player. He's always taking team offers, and that's that's everything you want out of a, out of a player. To be perfectly honest with you, so I think that McKinnon's the best player on and off the ice this season. Uh, Columbus, Columbus, it's confusing because there was not the best players. You could argue. Their goaltenders, um, I would definitely follow them. I would definitely argue them as their best players, but I put Pierre Luc Dubois. Um, Pierre Luc Dubois proved himself this season. I thought he put up. A, I thought he did well. Put up a lot of points. Um, Josh Anderson, if he was an injury prone this season, I think Josh Anderson. Josh Anderson would probably be one of those guys. Uh, Dallas, Dallas. I had. You could really argue anyone. You could argue. I mean, not Anton Kudobin. I guess you could from playoffs wise, but um, you know, and Ben Bishop, he was in the regular season. You know, it was Tyrus Sagan, Jamie Ben. I put Miro Heiskanen. in. Um, I thought Miro Heiskanen played very well this season, especially in the first part of the playoffs. Um, you know, Heiskanen's one of those fast defenders who really puts up those offensive points. He's one of those really underrated guys, to be completely honest with you. And I think that you know a lot of people. Underestimate him. Uh, Detroit. <laughs> I should have just said no one. But no. Um, the best player from Detroit this season, not including the free agents. If it was the free agents, it would probably be Troy Stetcher. Uh, I had Anthony Mantha. Mantha, you know, on a bad team, he's not the worst player. I think that he he put up a decent amount of points. He had like 34 points. Uh, he had more points than the team had ones. But, um, you know, I think you look at that, you say, okay, so this guy was on a horrible Detroit Red Wings team, yet he still put up 40 points. And I think that, you know, that's great statistics. I mean, it's, I think just Mantha just gets a bad, um, bad look, even since he's in probably the worst team in the league, and they're going to be the worst team in the league for a long time. It's just tough. So, you know, I think Mantha gets that best player honor. Uh, Edmonton. Um, I never thought I'd be saying this, but you could seriously argue, you could seriously argue Leon Dreisaitl to be that best player for Edmonton this season. But I put Connor McDavid. I think Connor McDavid will stay as the best player for Edmonton. Um, he's put up the points. He's just an absolute tank, and I don't think that anyone will really match up to him for at least ten years. Uh, Florida. I have Jonathan Huberdeau. Jonathan Huberdeau. For the thing with Florida, though, it was really tough. Um, you know, with Florida, everything that's ranked there. Um, you had Mike Hoffman, Evgeny Dadnoff. I are I put in Mike Hoffman. I put Huberdeau and Hoffman as my number as my two because I saw Huberdeau. He played he played pretty well this season, and you know I guess you can throw Dadnoff in there too. But you know I really just it's really just a tough thing when it comes to Florida. You know Huberdeau he's putting up points, and it seems like the team's not really getting anywhere. Uh, Los Angeles, Los Angeles, you gotta argue a few guys. I'm not arguing. I'm not arguing prospects or guys who haven't played the game. If we are arguing prospects, uh, Byfield's the best. But yeah, anyways, um, I put Alan like Kopitar, and I think Kopitar is still the best player on this on this Kings team, even though he gets a lot of hate because, you know, he's on the Kings, and you know, he put up a decent amount of points this season. He led the team. He may not be the he may not be like the best or most valuable guy, but he is definitely up there as the best. Um. Minnesota. I had Kevin Fiala. Fiala showed points where I was like, oh, wow. Oh, geez. Yeah, Fiala was Fiala was really putting out the points. I think that, you know, Fiala's going to lead this Minnesota Wild team to probably a, um, probably at least a decent playoff spot because they are getting um, Kirill Kaprizov in next season. So, you know, adding Kaprizov with Kevin Fiala, oh, that's going to be crazy for the league to deal with. Uh, Montreal. I have Carey Price. Um, I think that Carey Price has been the best player for Montreal for a long time. You know, that's, that's a really controversial thing, though. So, you know, if you disagree with me with that, that stinks. I argue, I argued Gallagher. I honestly argued um, Brendan Gallagher, but I just, I don't really see it, to be completely honest with you. So, I think that, you know, Carey Price is best player. Um, Nashville. I have Jose Saros. Jose Saros, probably, like, the best and probably one of the most underrated goalies. Uh, Saros proved us this season that he is likely going to be leading this team uh, after Pecorine retires. 
So I would expect I would definitely expect that. Uh New Jersey, I had Nico Heeshire. Heeshire, he gets a lot less criticism than people think. I argue Kyle Pal- I I argue Kyle Palmieri as well. And you know, you could you could throw him in there. But I think that Heeshire, even though he gets a lot of even though he gets a lot of criticism, the whole team gets a lot of criticism. He actually is the one that consistently puts up points. Unlike a lot of these guys on this list. Uh the Islanders. I have Matthew Barzell. Uh Barzell without a question is the best player on the Islanders. I don't think that there's an argument there. And I think that, you know, they do need to re sign him. Uh if they don't re sign him and they lose him, that's a huge problem. But you know, they really just got they have to um figure something out with Barzell. But he is the best player on the Islanders this season. Um, the Rangers. The Rangers, it was really tough. Because the Rangers had two absolutely monsters on their team. Uh, Mika Zibanejad, who scored five goals in, his, in one game. And Artemi Panarin, who who was like who had like 93 points this season. It was hard to really to really decide, so I put two. So, you know, you can argue other guys in there, but I think that Mika Zibanejad and Artemi Panarin are the two best players on the New York Rangers right now. Uh, Ottawa. Ottawa, this season, it was probably Anthony Duclair. Or Brady Kachuk, I put I put those two guys in there, cause you know Brady Kachuk showed points where he can, where he scored a lot of points, and you know he was the physicality guy. I mean he is from the Kachuk family, and Duclair he could he put up the goal scoring. I thought he found where I thought he found his home in Ottawa, but apparently I was wrong. Um, he be he really just bounces around the league as kind of a rental, I guess. I mean I think he played his first full season with the team in a long time, so you know I give props to him for that. Uh, Philadelphia. Oh, boy. Uh, Philadelphia, I, Carter Hart. Um, Carter Hart, best goaltender probably the Flyers have seen since Ron Hextall. Um, and I, I'm gonna just say that, to be honest. I think that a lot of people will be like, oh, no, 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 no. But I, I, I certainly think that. I think that Carter Hart is the best goaltender since Ron Hextall. Uh, and then you have Sean Couturier. Sean Couturier, he's, he's that really good goal scorer. He's like, like one of those underrated goal scorers. Um, everyone else, and those two guys were the ones that showed actually effort in the playoffs. Um, everyone else, no. Uh, Pittsburgh, I have Sidney Crosby. And I think that, you know, everyone's going to argue like, oh, no, Latang's better, Malkin's better. Uh, no, um, Crosby, I think, has been the best player for the Penguins since, when did he start playing? 2005. Um, I think he's been the best player since then. And I think that, you know, a lot of people will agree with me with that opinion. Uh, San Jose, this is also a really tough team, because they were not the best team this season. I think they were, like, the worst team in the West. Uh, I had Timo Meyer. Timo Meyer, despite San Jose going through all its problems, Timo Meyer really showed no signs of, um, error or problems, to be honest. And I think that, you know, coming out of that guy, if you can play good on a bad team, that's perfect. So that, pro- that, that proves that you are one of those best guys. Uh, St. Louis, I have Ryan O'Reilly. Um... You could argue, I'm not arguing Jordan Bennington this season. I think Ryan O'Reilly was one of those guys. And, you know, there is Vladimir Tarasenko, but O'Reilly was really the best guy. And, you know, I saw arguments for Brandon Shen as well. Uh, Tampa. Tampa was a really controversial one for me because, you know, I had all, a lot of my favorite players were on Tampa. A lot of these really good guys are on Tampa. <coughs> Excuse me again. Um, I ranked Braden Point and Victor Hedman. Uh, point unstoppable during the playoffs. Um, I don't know how he didn't win playoff MVP. A lot of people are still mad about that. Um, I think that every single time that they played, especially in that New York Islanders series, every single time Braden Point was out, the they lost. So I think that like he's not only the best player, but he's like the most valuable. And Victor Hedman, he's a great defenseman. I think that you know he's that guy that can help out really. Your top six is arguably the one of those best guy, best guys in the league, and there's really no question. Uh, Toronto, Toronto, I Mitch Marner, and Toronto's a really controversial one because there is a lot of good players on their team. You know, Austin Matthews and John Tavares. I put Mitch Marner. Um, I threw in Austin Matthews as a second guy, but I think Mitch Marner was more valuable than Matthews this season. Uh, Vancouver, you could argue a Eli- Elias Pettersson, but I put in Quinn Hughes. Uh, Quinn Hughes was a great defenseman this season. And, you know, he did get, I, a lot of people are saying, oh, he didn't get robbed of that Calder. Cam McCarr deserved it. Yeah, he got robbed of that, he got robbed of the Calder. Um, I think that Quinn Hughes showed many points where he can play very well defensively and very good offensively. 
of Vegas. You could put Jonathan Marchessault. I put Mark Stone. Mark Stone, I thought, played very well this season. He put up he put up a lot of points, and he's that fighter on that team. Uh, Washington. Washington, when it comes to them, it's a decently controversial um, thing. I still think Ovechkin's the best player on their teams, for, and, they, and he's been the best player on their team for a long time. So, you know, I think that you put Ovechkin in there, he, he's the best guy, and he's he's been a great goal scorer. So, I think that that. Uh, Winnipeg, final team here. Um, I had Mark Shifley. You could argue Connor Hellbuck. You could argue Kyle Connor. You could argue Patrick Laine. No, you can't. Um, I would put Mark Shifley in number one. He's that guy. He's been that guy for Winnipeg for a long time now. He can put up those decent amount of points. There you go. That is the best player from each NHL team. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I know there might be a lot of hate around this, so it's, this probably won't get a lot of views because, you know, it is like a 50-minute long video of me just talking. So, yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe, and we were trying to get subscribers by the end of the year. Thanks for the constant support. And, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.